Hey guys, I just got back from an emergency call. Tenant called and left a message saying, you were just out here yesterday working on my air conditioner. And last night my house filled up with smoke and I had to call the fire department and they turned it off. That's not a call any of us want to get. I was out there yesterday. I diagnosed a leaking evaporator full and charged her up because this is an elder care facility and she doesn't need to go without air. But I had trouble with the control board outside after I did my leak search, not passing voltage onto the contactor. So that's the preface of what led to this call. It's in it, I'm gonna reveal that it's my mistake and it's not gonna be what you think it is. Here we go. left on seeing this is the coil that I found leaking hmm. not seeing anything obvious let's go outside and take a look all right I see where this has been cut off normally they have zip ties right here Nope. That's on. Wait a minute, contactors pulled in. Contactors pulled in and the blower was not on. Did we just have a blower motor failure? Mm -hmm. Alright, let's head back in. So far we have not found why she had smoke. Anything the ground.
All right, we got 240. Let's see what happens when we push in the contactor. <clears throat> Maybe I need to look at that electrical panel. there's anything major wrong with the air conditioning Okay, this one's for the condenser and this one's for the air handler. Neither one are hot. <clears throat> All right, last step is to pull them out and take a look behind. good there. I 
do not know what caused it to smoke up in here. See that right there? That right there is a copper piece that comes from here as a part of a sensor that tells it to bring on the heat strips or something like that. But that is awfully close to that power right there. Let me make sure those connections are tight. And I'm gonna move that right there. I know we just saw that the power is disconnected, but I'm still going to check. Something like that is not needed down here. Not even remotely. I think we had just about five days this year when it got below freezing. the defrost it will tell it to bring on the electric heat like it's supposed to
All right, so <clears throat> I talked with the tenant here and from talking to her and what I found when I first walked up on this, if you remember, the contactor was pulled in when it shouldn't have been. That's because of I had trouble with that board and I moved one of the wires to bring on the air conditioning and I caused it to run constantly. And then the tenant told me that she didn't smell smoke, but it was like foggy. So the coil had been icing up and she had like um, vapors coming off the coil, coming through the return into the house. So that's what it was. It was my mistake. And I have it turned off at the thermostat now. And now it's not running. So what I had done, the board would not send voltage to the contactor yesterday. So I pulled off one of the wires on one of the pressure switches and I put it straight to the contactor and it came on. I was gonna leave it like that and give him an estimate to replace the board but apparently I pulled off the wrong wire and I caused it to run constantly. Now I, um, the board seems to have corrected that problem. I put the wires back where it's supposed to be and now it's cycling like it's supposed to. Yesterday that board just would not pass voltage onto, it's got a pink wire that goes to the contactor. It just would not do it. I was out here for like 20 minutes trying to figure out why it was running earlier and then it wasn't running after I had done my leak search. So those boards can be problematic on these, but that one has cleared up. I give it some time and maybe it, I don't know. I didn't understand why I wasn't getting voltage at the time I tried. I tried everything. I had plenty of pressure in the system. I had, I hit the test pins to try to speed up the timer and nothing would work. But this callback is on me. Happens like that, I'm glad it wasn't smoke. Thanks for watching.